Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Baldur's Gate 3 and in this video I'm going to show you guys a very important NPC that you need to get at the start of the game. So his name is Witters and if you get him he will go to your camp and he's going to provide uh, two things that are very important. That's resurrection and the second one is that you can re-roll your character and that you can re-roll your companions too. So I just made from Shadow Heart a Barbarian, so that's possible. Of course you need to pay gold for it. But you need to pick it up. Uh, you cannot change the appearance, I think. Uh, so I didn't find it. So what I'm going to show you guys is a full walkthrough. I cleared everything already, so it's not going to take that long. I just go through everything that I did. And I say to you guys, here I did this, here I did that. That's how I open the door. But first we are going to start. Where do you need to start? So you need to start over here. So this is the dungeon that you need to get started. So first of all, what do you need to do here? Very simple. You kill a couple of guys. You go to the door. They open the door for you. And then you can go in. Inside the door, you need to kill a pack of, uh, of enemies once again. So what you need to do is you come to here. Here to the left, here you need to push the lever, it will open, and here are the enemies. So you can use the barrels with oil, put the barrels with oil over here, uh, get them over here, shoot on the barrels, and they die all. So that's a little bit of a trick. Then you come to this door, and this door is very important, you cannot open the door at the start, there is no chance that you can lockpick it, so what you need to do is you need to come over here. And here you will find another lever that you can use. Here it is. It's a skeleton. And if you click that, you will open that door. Then you go back. And then you can enter the door. And if you go through this door and this door, you will come in the crypt. And the crypt is where you need to be. And the next part what you need to do on that moment is, so now I need to have a look for a brief moment. No, you need to not go to there, I think. Let's have a look to that side. So first you need to come over here, because this door you can open, and the other door over there will be closed. So what you need to do is, you need to come to this tomb, and here you will find a key. Be always aware, it's totally full with traps over here, so check it out. Be sure that you disarm the trap on this tomb and then you will get the key try to loot everything here if possible then you need to go back and with the key that you found you can open this door and then we are in another area and if you come here of course do everything here at the side to loot all the guys because there is stuff that you can find here and you will find enemies over here scribes and what you need to do on that moment is be sure that you put your party around here because they are going to be activated if you go to the tomb of Withers. Withers is sitting over here. So if you come here and you push this button, you will activate first the enemies, you kill them and then you can come over here. And in this uh, yeah, grave, if you click on it, you will see that Withers is coming. I'm going to do it now a little bit quicker. So this is Withers. This is the NPC that you need to have. I'm just going... Here we go. I speed it up a little bit. You guys can talk what you want. And now you can see is over here. So what is an exit that you can do? So uh, you don't need to go all the way back. I'm going to get my party together. Here we go. Uh, so uh, I need to have a look for a brief moment where the exit is. I think it's here on the other side. There is somewhere a door that you can get right away. Ah yeah, it's, it's back here. So if you come back to here, so the room where you found the key, there is a door outside. Do you need to go through this door because you need to use uh, a lockpick and you need to disarm it? No, you don't need to do that. But I'm going to show you guys that now. So here is a door. 
And there are my guys. I need to watch it because all those traps, they are still active because I didn't want to waste. So just click really quick before the traps are going uh, to be activated. And now we are outside. And if you go now to the campsite, so you just go to the camp, you will see that Withers is here at the left. So I'm going to talk with my main character once again. So you can see it here. So let's turn around. And if you talk now with him. So here you can see him. So you can ask him what kind of service can a skeleton offer. So here you can see it. He's going to resurrect your companions if they are dead. And then you mention a cost. What is it? So now you can see. So 200 you need to pay uh, to get your companion back resurrected. And here, can you help me change my class? So this is my main character. So now you can respect. I'm going to show you guys that I can do it two times because I don't have the money. So if you do that, you come here in this, uh, in this uh, menu. And here you can change everything. You cannot change the appearance. That's not possible. But you can change everything. So if you think that your class is a little bit too weak. Change to another class. You can go with the Paladin for example. Uh, but always remember you need to pay for it. But what you can do of course in this game. Just save for Withers. Then change it around. Have a look that it works. If it does not work you load again. So that's how you can do it. Then another thing. Uh, what? How can you do it with your companions? Because that's possible too. So if you go to now uh, Shadowheart. So you click on her. And then you go to talk with Shadowheart with Withers. You can change her, her too. But always remember. I think if you change her uh, to a Barbarian or something like that. I think it can influence the story. I'm not sure. But it's possible. Uh, I, I I read something about it, so you need to watch it a little bit because the world is working around the the your companions, and it's based on your companions. I don't think that you will get another history, but maybe it can change something. So if you want to change now, Shadow Heart, you just do the same, and now you can see I can change Shadow Heart too. Once again, not the appearance, I think. Or I missed something. But I don't think that you can do the appearance. But now if you want to make from Shadowheart. Let's say a paladin. Here we go. She's now going to be a paladin. And if you take confirm. Now Shadowheart is a paladin. So that's how you need to do it guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye bye.